everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new, if you're new my name is Shannon. I normally do kind of weekly vlogs, travel videos when we can, we are now a family of three, I've got a seven, very almost eight month old baby, I've vlogged like my motherhood so far, I've vlogged my pregnancy, I've vlogged our wedding day, the day I gave birth, um, I really have vlogged pretty much everything since I've started my channel so <laughs> um, if all of that sounds like something that you would like to join along on then please do subscribe if you haven't already. Today I am here with a slightly different video although it's definitely something that I touch on quite a lot um, during my weekly vlogs and over on my Instagram which is just at Shannon Lorraine same as my YouTube I will put it on the screen here um, but yeah I kind of talk about saving money how to kind of make little cuts but not like sacrifice um, you know your lifestyle and everything like that too much so today I thought I would do a video just talking about ways that you can save money but still live your best life um, little things that I do without really realizing that that definitely add up like some things more than others Ollie and I bought our home together when I was I think I was 22 or 23 and he was 23 or 24 around that age so early 20s we bought our first place and that was through you know being able to save money and to make kind of smart decisions we think they were smart um and yeah we've just always been quite savvy with our money i say we definitely ollie it's definitely i am the more spendy person and he is definitely the more saving person but i do think we balance each other out really well <laughs> So yeah, I just thought I would talk about those little things that we do that make a difference to our lives. And the reason I decided to film this video was because I spoke about a specific way that I kind of have been earning money over the years. Um, and I spoke about it on my Instagram and I had quite a few questions and people were messaging me saying, please, can you kind of talk about your money saving ways a little bit more on YouTube? And obviously like, I love being able to help you guys and the fact that people, like it blows my mind, just a little side note, it blows my mind that people watch my videos and like I know that sounds silly but like it still does blow my mind. I know I don't have the biggest channel at all by any reach but the fact that anyone watches my videos and the fact that anyone specifically will ask me to film a video on something like because they want to watch it, do you know like... I don't know, I just find that mad. But anyway, that is definitely a side note. But yeah, thank you so much if you do follow me and do watch this channel and yeah, you guys are just the best, so thank you so much. But yeah, I've got notes on my phone. I will try to not look down too much. I'll just kind of look for a prompt of like, you know, the next topic I'm going to talk about. But generally, this is just ways that we make little changes in our lives, little things that we do that make or save us money. So the first thing I will talk about since it is kind of where this video idea came from is Quidco. Now Quidco is a cashback website. This definitely sounds like an ad, it's not an ad. <laughs> it's just, I'm just talking to you guys. But it is a cashback website um, where you basically earn money for things that you buy. So I'm not saying it's smart to go and buy loads of things because you know, you can get a little bit of cashback, like things that you don't want or need. But if it is purchases that you're making already, like your food shop, I know that Asda's on there, your Disney holiday, your travel insurance, your car insurance, your like clothes shopping, toys, games, like anything that you can pretty much think of, there will be retailers on Quidco who do cashback. So I know that ASOS do it, Etsy do it. Um, yeah, like I said, Asda, phone companies, broadband companies, car insurance companies, holidays, um, days out, like honestly there is so many retailers that are partnered with Quidco and you really don't have to do anything different too much at all to kind of benefit from the cashback. So say I wanted to do my food shop, I literally will just go on Quidco, type in Asda, click Asda, um, I think the button will say like get cashback or something, you click that and then it will then load up Asda's website and then you just shop as normal. I think as long as you are not using incognito, I think as long as you are logged into Quidco um, and definitely have clicked through that link to go to Asda or whichever retailer that you want to use, it will track your shop and you will get a set amount of cash back back on what you've bought so yeah i have had some questions before when i spoke about it on my instagram people asking is it legit is it safe like you know do they store your credit card details etc now i am not like like i said this isn't an ad i am not full of the knowledge for Quidco but what I do know is I have been using it for years and I have never had anything dodgy go on if you type it in like 
is Quidco legit? Is Quidco safe? Trustpilot comes up, etc. And it is definitely safe. It is definitely legit. Um, Martin Lewis, which is something I'll talk about later, but if you know him from like British TV, I guess, he talks about saving money. He is the money saving expert here in the UK. And he, you know, it's on his website and things like that. So it's definitely trustworthy and definitely like all good so I love Pridco because it is definitely a way that I make money and sometimes it is literally pennies like if it is just on my Domino's pizza then it might be like 26p which I know literally you might just think that is not even worth going through that extra stage but it really does add up and when it is money for nothing like it's literally money back like why not um and also you can, like I said, do it on bigger purchases. So if you're going to be spending more money, obviously the more cashback you'll get. Um, each retailer offers a different percent of cashback. Sometimes it will be like 1%, sometimes they'll do a boost and it might be like 7%, 10%, 4%, like all different types of percent. And sometimes there's incentives. So if you are a new customer, there are incentives. So yeah, there is also an incentive which I have got for you guys, which if you have a Quidco account, you will get this. It's not that... I have got any special treatment, but you get a referral link if you already have a Quidco account and you recommend it to your friends. So I have a referral link, which I always leave in the description of my videos. Basically, if you use my link, um, you will get given a cash incentive for signing up. So like it will be like a, I think it's five pound boost for you. Once you've earned a certain amount of cash back, you will then get this boost of another five pounds. I think it is all the information will be below on the link but yeah and I get a cash incentive too so it's definitely you know like <laughs> I get something from it you get something from it but it's literally money for nothing for both of us and I definitely think it's worth looking into if you haven't already got a Quidco account like I said I think I have earned 450 pounds ish from Quidco so far and I only really started using it properly when I was booking our Disney holiday so 2019 I think 2018 around that time and there are definitely so many times I still forget to use it and it really annoys me because I'm like oh I could be earning money off the back of this but um in general whenever I remember to use it it adds up I kind of just forget that it's there I don't rely on that money I don't like you know count the pennies but if you kind of let it just tick over and build up and yeah all of a sudden you've got this like boost of cash and you're like oh my gosh like that is literally money for nothing and you can get it paid into your paypal your bank you can get it back as a gift card i believe um which i think they give you a little bit more if you do it as a gift card i don't know the full details on that but yeah i just get it back to my paypal or my bank and it's brilliant like i really do think it's great the only thing is like i said like don't rely on the money because each retailer has different periods of time that they take to pay the cash back it can be weeks after you've bought something it can be like three to six months after you've bought something sometimes i'll be like i didn't spend any money there and then it'll be like from ages ago but honestly like just trust the process <laughs> next thing kind of to do with like online shopping is always look for a discount code always 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 like it blows my mind there are still people out there who just do their shopping without quickly having a quick google to say an asos discount code like gap discount codes are a discount code i know some of those brands don't ever do discount codes but some of them definitely do and it is always 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 worth having a quick google to see um because again like you're saving money for literally just a two second discount code search like always do it i like will do that for every single thing i book holidays like just everything like i book or buy online i search for a discount code whether i'm going to the cinema whether we're going on a day out whether like you know just look for a discount code because once you start doing it you'll realize how much money you can save <laughs> the next thing is something that i know some people might not be into but i do think more and more people are starting to kind of shop second hand and i think facebook marketplace is a brilliant place to do this because you can look for local things in your area or a top tip i look in areas that are nicer than my area <laughs> i type in the search a nicer area and then like you know not too far away but if there's like a town or a village that's kind of you know somewhere you're willing to drive to anyway that's not too far or sometimes it is far like me and ollie drove to like guildford way but it was where was it it was a while away anyway to go and pick up something for buzz and it was for free and like everywhere around here was charging 
not one of my videos without a moped. <laughs> Literally say that every time. Um, yeah, everywhere around here was charging like £100 second hand and we got it for free. And it was from like a mansion, guys. Like it was beautiful. So, top tip. Buy a second hand, Facebook Marketplace, search in your local area or if you're able to or would like to, search other areas um, because there are so many bargains or free things out there. We got Buzz's cot for free. We literally just sanded it down and painted it. It's wooden, it's beautiful. We got a new mattress for it, but the cot itself was free. We got his pram second hand. Um, we've got his jumper roo second hand. We got his bumbo second hand. I'm actually got a search alert thing on at the minute, which is something else. Just side note that if you're after something specific and it's not on there at the minute, you can. There's a little bell, I think emoji symbol icon thing and it will just say like search alert or something like that at the top of facebook marketplace and if you do that you can type in what you're looking for and they will um send you an email or notification or whatever once that has come up or a similar thing has come up so that is something that is definitely worth doing if you don't want to miss out on something specific that might be harder to come by in these kind of secondhand places you can also do that on ebay as well um the kind of saved search thing so i would definitely recommend doing that i like to buy secondhand but i like to buy good quality second hand like um we've been kind of stung a couple of times so do be careful to kind of if you're um if it's something you care about like maybe just double check this from a smoke free home pet free home and yeah like don't be afraid to ask for more photos and don't be afraid like if you turn up to pick something up like if it's not what you expect it to be you are well within your rights to say i'm really sorry but this isn't what i was expecting like thank you but no thank you like don't feel you have to come away with something that you don't really want that's something that ollie and i have had to kind of learn but it is mostly good positive experiences we've had anyway you just have to be quite fussy um if you want to be <laughs> obviously the less fussy you are sometimes the cheaper you can get things if it's like a plastic thing or something you can really clean well then you know do what you want like that might be you know it might not matter to you like i see loads of like the um what they call like the little tykes cars you know like the red and yellow cars there's loads on there and some are so grubby but i've seen some amazing upcycles of those on pinterest so yeah they're plastic they can wipe clean like why not as well as facebook marketplace obviously i've mentioned ebay there's spock there's vintage um there's car boot sales which i know we're coming to the end of the season for those but there are definitely some indoor ones and yeah they're something that i've kind of rediscovered this year and i got loads of buzzes toys from those and they were literally like 25p for things that are like 10 15 20 pounds brand new and yeah, I was really impressed with that, to be honest. And again, loads of kids' stuff is plastic. It can really be, you know, anti-bagged, cleaned, sterilised, all of that stuff, and it is as good as new. Um, and lastly, charity shops are somewhere else. I've really enjoyed shopping in for Buzz's toys since having him. Um, I love just having a mooch around. Like, I've always loved charity shops for books for me. Um, but, yeah, now there's kind of this new aspect of trying to find, like, treasures for Buzz. I just love it. Um, so, yeah, buying secondhand, I really do recommend. Spock sometimes does discount codes, which I don't really understand. Like, they will do the discount code, and the seller, I don't think, loses out for having that. So, like, say a seller's got something up for £20, then Spock will offer this 30% discount code. The seller still gets paid the amount, I think, that they wanted, I think. And, yeah, you as a buyer save that money too. I bought some lounge fly bags with this 30% discount code before and if you know lounge fly bags they are not to be mentioned on a savvy video because they are expensive but I do love them. I'm looking at them right now. <laughs> um, but yeah I saved loads of money by using a Spock discount code on those. Anyway, next thing is kind of just a subtopic of the secondhand world, and that is to sell your things that you don't want or need anymore. I am a hoarder at times. I can get very emotionally attached to things, but then every now and again, I'll have a day where I feel ruthless AF and I will get rid of it all. <laughs> and a brilliant way to kind of do that is obviously donate to charity if you, you know, are able to. But if there are some things that you know you spent a lot of money on um, or, you know, you know that will go down well secondhand, then, 
you as a person are like obviously entitled to <laughs> sell your things secondhand. Like, you know, if you've got a little one and they've outgrown a certain amount of toys, then if you sell those on, on Facebook Marketplace or wherever, then that will fund the next lot of toys. We all know like our babies are changing and growing and getting bored of things all of the time so quickly. So yeah, definitely, I think a good way to kind of make some money is to just sell things that you don't use anymore. Again, that isn't like a rocket science thing, but it's something that is easy to forget to do and to put off because it's like, oh, you've got to take pictures, you've got this, you've got that. But honestly, like it really doesn't take that long. Just put on some good music, take some photos and yeah, it's really quick and easy to list on eBay, Vinted, Spock all of those places. If you are using a subscription service, quite often there are referral links that you can get as a user that you can then pass on to friends and family and if they sign up using your code, your link, then you will get um, either kind of product incentives or cash incentives or discounts, etc. Um, for example, HelloFresh I know quite often do like a referral thing and that's not like, you know, an influencer thing. You don't have to have a certain amount of followers or anything like that. It's literally if you are a paid user of their service, you should be able to get these kind of links and um, yeah, like affiliate links, I guess they are, um, referral links, you know, that kind of thing. Um, if it's a service you're using already and you genuinely think your friends and family will like it, then I would definitely recommend using those because why not? Why not? let those things again add up like whether that's you get a free box on HelloFresh or whether you get a free bunch of flowers or f a flower subscription there's honestly so many different things that you can get these kind of referral links to like I said earlier like Quidco is one of them you don't have to be like on social media or anything like that to get these links they're literally if you have an account and you have a link then share it if you think people will love it. <laughs> Something else, again, I have been using for years, but I feel like some people just don't seem to know that they exist, are outlets on eBay. So eBay, obviously, a lot of people still think of as like an auction site and like just a bit meh, but I have been working with shops who run their business from eBay since I've left school. Um, and now I have part of my shop on eBay too. It's definitely not just kind of secondhand things. You know, there are actual shops who, have their business on eBay. And as well as that, there are brands that you will know and love and would have heard of who have outlets on eBay. So Jules is one that I shop from on there loads. Um, there's Superdry, there's like Music Magpie, there's like um, Nike, I think, Dyson. There's honestly so many websites on there who, um, yeah, have an outlet on eBay. So whether it is kind of just old stock but brand new with tags on, um, like old season stuff or current season stuff like jewels. See it so often on their outlet where they are selling coats or wellies or kids bits or honestly they have hundreds of things on there. And eBay often does um, discount codes as well off outlets which is like, or sellers and it will always tend to include jewels and super dry and it will be like 20% off their already discounted prices. It really does help, like if you buy from super dry or buy from jewels or buy from Argos, like have a look at their outlets. If you again type in Google, I will try and put the link below of like the different outlets but it's something that so many people don't seem to know about and I think it's wicked, like I have bought so much on there, like Christmas presents and all sorts, I love it. Something else that we try to do but have since having Buzz is something that would definitely help us more if I did do it but I don't tend to find the time to do it in the first place but is to meal plan. If you meal plan your meals for the week and you know exactly what you need for the meals and you know there are a lot of like common ingredients across a couple of the different meals then it really does save money doing it that way like I really do notice a difference when I meal plan and kind of do it in a way that I'm like okay so what can I do to include these kind of ingredients that I know will last for a while and I won't use it all in one meal etc you know what I mean definitely worth meal planning if you plan like date nights or days out etc in advance you really can save money um so I use a website called let's all go again I'll link it below and it's basically a small business who I have been using for years to buy group tickets for theatres, zoos, farms, um, 
experiences, afternoon teas, and they get group discount. Obviously, if you go to a theatre and you book 50 tickets, then they will give you a group discount rate. And then, yeah, this company will then sell you on the tickets at a discounted rate. Obviously, they must take their cut and they must charge a little bit more than they get them for. But it is brilliant. Like, whenever I go to the theatre, I try and book through this website. You get like stalls tickets for like 35, 40 pounds, like when they're normally like 90 pounds. Honestly, it's brilliant. I would definitely recommend that website. Um, something else that we've done before is if you've heard of the website called Buy a Gift, um, it's kind of a lot of people think it's one of those like cheesy, like red letter day kind of websites. And it is in a way. And I don't think they are necessarily always the cheapest for a lot of things but there are certain things on there, again, they tend to always have a discount code, like, I, the amount of times, like, I think the minimum discount code I've ever got for there is 20%, they quite often do, like, 24%, 25%, um, really good discount codes, and it is quite often usable on most of their experiences, not all of them, but a lot of them, and, yeah, we've ended up doing, like, bottomless Sunday lunches, which, if you go and you know straight to the restaurant and pay for it, it was like 50 quid or something and we've literally paid 12 pounds each before like it's been mental we've got such good deals hotel stays and honestly so much stuff they also have like pizza express and you know just like normal high street restaurants like i say if you're planning to go out for a meal next month or at the end of the month then definitely just like have a look and see what you can find because again if you just plan a little bit in advance you can definitely save money that way ollie does do shares and things like that it's not something i know anything about so if you want to know a little bit more about that side of things then maybe let me know in the comments or something because ollie might want to come and talk to you about it again he's not an expert he's just learned everything himself that he knows and I yeah it's just something else that we do to kind of make a little bit of money but I can't really comment on it but yeah if it's something you'd like to see more on then please do let me know and I'll see if I can get him to chat to you guys collect points is another thing boots points um club card nectar tgi nando's get them all because points mean prizes <laughs> Did anyone used to hear that at school all the time? I feel like people used to say that at school all the time. Um, but it's true, like, I think I currently have about £48 on my boots um, card to spend on whatever I want, which is amazing. Um, and that's just from, like, you know, buying certain things from there, like, um, things for bars and toiletries. And, I mean, to be fair, a lot of our toiletries we'll get from Home Bargains or Poundland because it's cheaper, but certain things from boots, I, um, yeah... I buy from there and it all adds up these little points they also have like point boosters if you have the app you can log in and see your offers and just make sure you kind of activate any of those that I used to think were just automatically loaded to your card but I think you do have to activate them in order to like get those boosts and stuff like that so it's definitely worth having a look at that um but yeah TGI the amount of people that don't realize if you eat at TGI you can scan your receipt and you get points and then you get money off well not money off you get things for free once you've built them up like I know TGI isn't the money saving place but again if you're eating at these kind of places and yeah just do it why not why not <laughs> another thing that I've done that's really helped me save money is I have unsubscribed from so many newsletters I don't know about you but I'm a sucker for a discount for a bargain and if I get an email that says like ASOS has got a 30% off today I mean they haven't done 30% off in literally is 20% off today then um I will go and look and I'll end up buying things I don't want now I know I said you can go looking for discount codes but I feel like that's different if you are after something and you're going to buy something already then definitely look for a discount code but if you are being enticed into buying something that you weren't going to buy before then maybe it's time to think about unsubscribing to certain things I know for me like it really did help because the temptation just wasn't there. Something else that we don't spend money on is Sky. We don't have Sky. And people are always shocked when I say that. Like, we've never had Sky. We don't watch telly. Like, we do not watch live TV. Um, we watch Netflix, Amazon, um, Disney Plus, and catch up sometimes. But honestly, like, we just don't we don't need Sky. Maybe it'll be different as Buzz gets older, but again, there's so much on Netflix and Disney Plus and they're the kind of subscriptions we choose to pay for. So for us, you know, it's not necessary. And it is something that I do feel like we could have felt pressured into getting, which I know sounds so like odd, but people's reactions whenever we say we don't have it are always just a bit like shocked. And it does make you question for a second, like, 
are we weird? Should we have it? Like, you know, are we tight? But we don't need it. So yeah, comparison is the thief of joy. And again, that is another point because don't feel like you have to go and buy stuff because other people are, because that is definitely a way to get in a hole. Like comparing yourself and feeling like you are missing out because you don't have the latest this or the best that. Like it upsets me because I definitely feel like this often and it's really annoying because it is a downfall that I have when it comes to saving money um and Ollie doesn't get that because he doesn't use social media so he doesn't really see those pressures so much um you guys might know what I'm talking about if you have like social media just sometimes you just see everyone with like the newest best stuff and you're like I want that but do you really or is it just because they have it like the Dyson Airwrap for me is something that I was so thought I needed and wanted it's so expensive and one day maybe I still will like get one I don't know but I want to get it because I really really want it and not because it feels like everyone else has one and I don't um last thing is food waste apps too good to go oleo um they are really really good food waste apps I will link them below um and yeah you literally just look in your local area and there will be so many chains like Costa um M&S etc who at the end of the day have stuff that might be expiring today or tomorrow and they want to take it off the shelves but they don't want to just throw it in the bin and it is too good to go in the bin too good to go get it and yeah you can get like it's like mystery bags most of the time but you can get if you can hear buzz crying i'm really sorry i think ollie's brought him upstairs which is fabulous which is why i'm rushing to hurry up but yeah i have waffled on enough food waste apps are really really good um you don't get to choose what's in them but you yeah if you're not fussy and if you're like mm, you know i need some snacks or i need something then have a look if you look at it you'll know you'll get the gist of kind of the things that are on there anyway i'm gonna go because buzz is crying we actually need to go out right now so thank you so much for watching this video if there's anything you want to know or if you would like me to make a part two maybe answering some questions or anything like that then please 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 do comment below ask me any questions you'd like to and i will see you very very soon for another video bye you're my heart's desire I just want to love you Just want to hold you Just want to be with you Till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay Or take me away I want you for myself Every single day You say